Maori dolphins live on the west coast of the North Island of New Zealand. Generally, they stay close to the shore, diving for fish and small squid. Mostly, they like to play, chasing each other for fun, surfing, playing with seaweed and blowing bubbles. Maui's can swim really quickly. They need to because they can only hold their breaths at the most for three minutes. So what does it mean to be the rarest marine dolphin in the world? It means that there's hardly more than a hundred Maui's dolphins left. We're at Te Hirihi School, our school on Waiheke Island. We're learning all about Maui's dolphins, what threatens them and how we can take action to help them survive. Our visiting WWF New Zealand teacher is in school today with some cool activities. We're in a year three class playing the eco-location game. There's a dolphin and a fish, and both blindfolded. The dolphin has to go click, 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 and the fish has to respond by going gong, gong, gong. That's how they do it in the sea. It bounces off the fish back into the Maui dolphin's ear, and that's how he catches his prey. We did paper, scissors, rock to the side who was dolphin. Unfortunately, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to play? Turn you around, dolphin. But one thing that Ecolocation can't pick up is the fine mesh on set net. But more on that later. <laughs> did you know that they weigh about 50 kilograms and can live for up to 20 years? Meanwhile, in the year 6 class, the class that we're in, there's a cool art project going on. Let's go! So what are you going to do with the poster when it's finished? Yeah. Well, we're going to present it in front of all the family and friends and kids of the school. Maui's dolphins aren't fish, they're mammals, like us. They have lungs, not gills. And their flippers develop from limbs, like we've got. And best of all, they've got big brains, which makes them really smart. All right, next class. Some of our year six students are up painting drains. And the big thing about these drains is that whatever goes down them ends up in our sea. Anything toxic that goes into the water can harm lots of natural life and animals. So we've got to make sure that only water goes down these drains. No waste at all. Pretty flash. Let's go. Yeah, what's your thing? We got some mammals here and some ways they like us. But they will soon be gone for good if we don't make a fuss. We'll soon be gone for good if we don't make a fuss. We're going to burn them onto CDs to sell it as a fundraiser. Do you guys want to do it then? Okay. Did you know that they are the world's rarest marine dolphin? And along with their South Island relatives, the Hector's dolphin, they are also the smallest, growing to just over a metre long. This class has decided to write some letters to the government. To both the fisheries and conservation ministers. To ask for more protection for our Maui's dolphins. on the west coast of the North Island and it's really, really windy. Now we swim along the west coast and sometimes into the harbour. We're here at Hamilton's Gap on the wild west coast. One of the Maui Dolphins' favourite places to play. Out there in the ocean, there are only about 100 Maui dolphins left. Remember that clicking noise that the Maui dolphins make? <laughs> well, that noise is called echolocation. They use it to find their fish. But one thing that echolocation can't pick up is fishing nets. And that's a real problem. Set nets like these can and do kill Maui's dolphins. Dolphins can't sense the fine mesh of the net. So they swim straight into it. And they can't swim backwards, so they can't get out. And because they can only hold their breath for three minutes, they drown. Oh, 
On the west coast of the North Island, it is illegal to use sheet nets. But on harbours like this one, it's not yet illegal, but it soon could be. Meanwhile, we need to speak up and tell everybody we know not to use sheet nets. And this will help our Maui's population to grow. So, here are a few things we can do to take action in our school and community. Put together displays for our community library. Organise a fundraiser for WWF New Zealand. Adopt a hectic dolphin. Organise an information day for our families. And write a song about Maui's dolphins. Paint our school or local drains. Make up games to teach others about Maui's. Organise a sandcastle competition to raise awareness about seat netting and other dangers to dolphins. There's a hotline that you can call if you happen to see a Maui dolphin. It is 0800 4 Maui's. They're so rare that every sighting is important. We need to know where they are so we can better protect them. We got some mammals here and some ways they're like us. But they will soon be gone for good if we don't make a fuss. Take action now! We got some mammals here in some ways they're like us. But they will soon be gone for good if we don't make a fuss.